Hey guys, I welcome you all to day 18 of anthropology lecture series. So, uh, on day 17th we had already completed 1.6 and this is, uh, just let me mark here, this is 1.8 of our syllabus. I have already told you 1.7 is just for conceptual understanding which we will do whenever it is required. So, that topic we are not doing. After this we are start starting with the the, the most one of the most interesting chapters of uh, this uh, paper one that is origin and uh, you know evolution of uh, in, uh, culture and civilization. So, before starting that there is a topic which is principles of prehistoric archaeology that is 1.8 a. So, we will do this and tomorrow we will start with the evolution of culture and civilization that is where we are going to read about Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, Copper Bronze Age, all of that. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, now first we need to understand that this is a part of archaeological anthropology, as in what we are reading is prehistoric archaeology, and this is a part of archaeological anthropology. Now, just uh, uh, try to understand. I will uh, go step by step. Now, first, what is archaeology? Archaeology is nothing but the study of antiquities, okay? the things that you know we found we find in the antiquities, the things that we find in the fossils, the remains, right? they can be skull, they can be bones, they can be uh, material culture like pottery, right? it can be it can be any other thing, right? So, all of this are the fossil remains, the antiquities of the past, right. So, when we study this, that is called archaeology. And when we study this in perspective to understand human evolution, both in terms of culture and its uh, anatomical evolution, that is how you know man evolved, right. So, that is a part of archaeological anthropology. Now, in tomorrow's chapter, we are going to read about Paleolithic. Lithic basically means stone age, right? So, it would be Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic based on the changes in the technology of the stone tools. These uh, time periods have been devolved in the, uh, you know, they are uh, divided in the cultural evolution part. But if one has to think more deep into it. How did we come to this? This was not like something fictitious, right? Based on certain evidences, based on certain, uh, you know, conclusive evidences, we decided that, decided this. And what were those conclusive evidence? They were the fossils, they were the antiquities, they were the pottery, they were the things that we had, you know, dug out from the, from the, you know, from the soil and from all of that. So, that is what it is. So, now how do we do it? There are two ways to actually do uh, this dating that is relative and absolute dating. Okay? So, now we will understand. Now, you understood the basic of it. Na? Why do we need to do it? Because if we need to study the human evolution that is in terms of culture, and in terms of its biological evolution, we need to find out things that are probably the remains of the past and by studying them more closely, which is a part of archaeology and with, with the help of uh, paleontologists, geologists, geographers, you know, anthropology was able to do this, you know, it, it was able to reconstruct the past. So, now you, I think you have got the background of it. Yes. So, now, how do we set the chronology right? For example, how do I know that the mother goddess that was found in the IVC is like around 2000, 2000 BCE? How do I know this? How, how can I say this with such, uh, you know, conviction? This is because there are certain methods, you know, there is a way of putting chronology to things. So, that is what we are going to study ki whatever we have studied abhi tak jo bhi humne padha hai right from the, you know, uh, fossils of ape to man 
and now in the next uh, in the further presentations or uh, lectures we are going to study ki how culture also evolved how did we do it we did it with the help of archaeological evidences and we put them into a sequence you know that is why we were able to achieve what we have achieved as of now okay so how do we set this chronology this is because of certain facts that that we are going to read further so now for example what is chronology it is just that for example earth it evolved around 5 billion years ago right and life began on earth around 3.5 billion years ago this is only what we are talking about it ki chronology kya hai chronology hai ki jaise pehle earth evolve hua then life aaya you know this is what chronology is all about so when we talk about it there is two kind of chronology which is there one is the geological chronology right jisme hum different eras ki baat karenge we'll talk about different epochs you know different time geological time scale basically right whatever we say na geological time scale that is only the geological history right that is the geological chronology but cultural chronology is little different from that right cultural chronology is uh, you know sequencing things from the perspective of culture for example we are today living in holocene epoch but uh, if i have to say this is just a period which we are living you know the culture is very different from the geological time for example i'll just tell you so i've again put this uh, geological time scale because i want you to see this and become comfortable with this and iska humko bahut zarurat padega aage bhi so that is why i put it wherever it is required for example from the history of human evolution na pleistocene era is very important ओके वैसे तो यू नो देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट इराज एंड इपॉक्स एंड टाइम पीरियड्स विच वी कैन सी बट फॉर ह्यूमन एवोल्यूशन प्लीज टो सीन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज हेयर आर जर्नी फ्रॉम होमो इरेक्टिस यू नो द फर्स्ट होमो दैट इवॉल्व ऑन द फेस ऑफ अर्थ टू होमो सेपियंस हैपन्ड राइट सो जियोलॉजिकली इट्स जस्ट वन पीरियड बट कल्चरली इट इज लाइक मेनी पीरियड्स फ्रॉम पेलियोलिथिक right uh, uh, paleolithic to mesolithic like that right so sometimes geological time scale would differ from cultural because it is just one period but it has so many sub periods if we see cult from a cultural point of view so now you understand the difference between the two right now uh, pleistocene epoch most important for man's biological and cultural evolution i've already told you this is the time which is the most important pleistocene this is the most important for human period right so now let's start with it now uh, the dating that is how to put remains that we have found in a sequence there are two ways of doing it relative dating and absolute dating so now the words itself you know uh, tell us the meaning relative means in comparison uh, you know this is for example if i say a is relatively taller than b so a i'm not saying a is the tallest a is just taller than b or relatively taller to b that is what relative date, relative means right so relative is always in comparison and absolute you can know by its name only absolute means in absolute terms for example a is tall that means no matter what uh, b aa jaye c aa jaye a is tall that means he is tall okay so absolute me there are no conditions attached but in relative it is in comparison right so here a comparative study is done and we do not tell ki ye fossil in absolute sense you know what time it was found like 40 years back ka ye hai ya 50 years back ka we will just say that a a wala fossil is older than b wala fossil only this much we can know from relative dating okay so now there are methods of doing relative dating the first one is stratigraphy now just try to understand stratus uh, stratas you know means layers okay so first thing is this if i tell you uh, for example if i try to draw here for example this is the earth i tell you and just imagine that you know this is the volcan volcanic eruption is happening right 
so over a time a new layer of earth will be formed after some time eruption may happen again and there can be a new layer of you know lava that can spread then after some times maybe another layer so one more layer of uh, lava will be deposited now you will say what is this for example if i have to give you an example deccan traps deccan traps are formed like this only you know uh, from different periods of time there were volcanic eruptions which like spread spread like that and there were layers of you know lava that got deposited which made a new crust all together right this is a new new formed crust right right so now you can see this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 that that means ki ye sab alag alag time mein bane hain it is not that they have been formed or carved out in the same time they have been carved out in different different time periods so of course whatever remains i will fi uh, find in this part will be different from this part will be different from this part because aisa to nahi hai na ki volcanic eruption jaise maine example liya hai wo har din to nahi hogi na it will happen over a course of time which can take like millennials also you know bahut sara time ho sakta hai right so obviously kya pata is time pe yahan pe kon rehte the yahan pe apes ape like jo creatures the of miocene period ye us time ka crust ho ये उसके बाद का हो यहाँ पे क्या पता होमो इरेक्टिस आ गए हो राइट सो ओवर द कोर्स ऑफ टाइम जब हम डिग करेंगे जब हम उनके फॉसिल्स को निकालेंगे जब हम उनकी स्टडी करेंगे तो हम एक लॉ ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन को लगाकर स्टडी करते हैं वॉट इज दैट इट सेज कि ऑब्वियसली अगर लेयर फोर है जो सबसे ऊपर है इट इज पॉसिबल दैट दिस इज द यंगेस्ट ऑफ द ऑल विच इज़ ऑब्वियस ही बात है ना जो सबसे ऊपर है वो ही सबसे एंड में बनी होगी राइट right? जो सबसे नीचे है वो तो सबसे पहले बन गई होगी ना अगर लेयर वन है लेयर वन सबसे पहले बनी होगी ना लेयर फोर से तो पहले ही बनी होगी राइट right? अगर मैं फिर से ड्रॉ करूँ ये वॉलकैनिक के रप्शन हुई ये पहली लेयर बन गई ठीक है ये दूसरी हुई ये दूसरी लेयर बन गई ये तीसरी हुई ये तीसरी लेयर बन गई right this was the fourth volcanic eruption this was the fourth layer so obviously we can see the first layer was you know much older than the fourth layer right this is what law of superposition is so of course whatever fossils we will find here will be obviously older to the fossils of the fourth uh layer right so this is what stat stratigraphy is all about okay so stratigraphy is we know that earth earth's rocks are stratified in layer like this this is another layer then this is another layer then this is another layer because all the layers have been found uh, formed in different periods of time and law of superpositioning says that the lowest layer in any natural process of deposition is older than the layers above it i've already told you so of course the artifacts found in the lower layer would all obviously be older to the upper layers right this is pehla that is stratigraphy in relative dating so i can tell any artifact which is which is uh, found here will be older than anything which is found here or right this way you can relatively tell me which is the oldest for example this is older than this layer right so this is how you do a comparative analysis this was the first one in it the second is fluorine dating now just try to understand fluorine is a naturally occurring substance which is present in water at many places okay jaise aaj ke time pe hum we always always talk about fluorine uh, you know it can be fluorine pollution also in ground water राइट सो वॉटर में थोड़ा बहुत थोड़ा बहुत कॉन्टेंट प्रेजेंट होना इज नॉट लाइक एब नॉर्मल विच इज देयर इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल प्लेसिस बट ज़्यादा हो जाए तो दैट विल कॉज पल्यूशन राइट हैविंग सेड सो वी हैव डिविएटेड फ्रॉम द टॉपिक द थिंग इज वी आर सेंग दैट फ्लोरिन इज नेचुरली प्रेजेंट इन वॉटर इन मेनी प्लेसिस सो नाउ वेन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन वॉटर वेन 
any living being will consume that water over a period of time that fluorine will gradually accumulate in its bones and teeth right so now this deposition is proportional to their age for example if i say that uh, the older the for example a boy is 10 year 10 years old right and the man is 60 years old obviously he will have more more fluorine in his bones and teeth right as compared to this boy right so this is what it is saying so older the bones more fluorine deposition because over the period of time those uh, those uh, bones or artif those bones or whatever the skull and anything which we fo found of fossils in fossils they will be deposited in the soil and they will react with the water that is there in the soil right so the older for example a fossil is 50000 years old and one fossil is 10000 years old obviously the fossil which is there for like 50000 years will have more fluorine in it right so this is how fluorine dating helps now a very real time example of this is pill down forgery just try to understand this is not for your uh, you don't have to remember this but this is just a story to build uh, the understanding in your mind now there was like a uh, a uh, anthropologist only who was working on the fossils he was dawson right and one was we had already read about him arthur woodward right we were reading about him in the last chapters also so this person ha had got some fossils you know in england one was the remains of a mandible one was something like that of a skull ka remains and some other and one was a teeth ka remain okay so he, what he did na he wrote to the the authorities that he has found the missing link between the apes and humans okay so as we have studied the whole chapter we do not know exactly which was the uh, which was that species which was exactly between humans and apes and how that transition happened we still do not know very conclusively so now he said i have found that based on the evidences that he had dug out right so he said this uh, mandible was more like an ape skull was more like a human and teeth was it could be attributed to both ape and a human so basically he tried a he uh, you know made a prototype of something which was between man and the hum uh, uh, ape and the human right so he said this is one uh, skull which he reconstructed and said this is the you know transitioning fossil because he obviously had his own motives matlab anybody who is doing any research or anything they will also have their own uh, bias na you want to be famous you want to be known you want to you know excel in your career so everybody wants to do ki hum bas you know we should do something in life later when fluorine dating was done and this this hypothesis carried on for quite a few years i mean this theory was like accepted for a long long period that means this person got a lot of uh, you know uh, he got recognized for his work so matlab you know he was like good he was reputed in the this anthropological field right later on when we did the fluorine dating we saw these skulls did not match the same time ye tooth ye kisi aur time pe mila tha एज इन इसमें जितना फ्लोरिन डिपॉजिटेड था वो डिफरेंट था इस मैंडबल से या फिर इस कल से तो इससे पता चला कि ये एक्चुअली जो इसने रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट करा है वट एवर ही हैज़ रिकन्स्ट्रक्टेड दिस डजेंट बिलोंग टू वन स्पीशी इट सेल्फ लाइक द टूथ वॉज सम ऑफ सम एलिफेंट ओके लाइक एलिफेंट लाइक थिंग एंड द स्कल वॉज मोर ऑफ अरेंगटन राइट एंड मैंडबल वॉज ऑफ समथिंग एल्स राइट so this way you know he had created a thing which was which he was calling between ape and human it was the transition but actually it was nothing it was three different species you know who were you know buried around the same time at the same place so he had just reconstructed a thing which is like a forgery only na the biggest uh, forgery of in the history 
दैट वी आर कंसिडरिंग समथिंग कि ये हमारे ह्यूमंस और एप के बीच का स्पीशी होगा जो कि एक्चुअली हमने तीन चार स्पीशी को मिलाकर बनाया है सो लाइक दिस वॉज द फोजरी विच हैपन एंड दिस वॉज यू नो जब फ्लोरिन डेटिंग किया तो हमें पता चला कि यू नो दिस इज़ अ फोर्जरी एक्चुअली इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल ये तीन चार अलग स्पीशीज हैं सो फ्लोरिन डेटिंग भी बहुत काम आती है बिकॉज जब फ्लोरिन डेटिंग करते हैं हमें पता चलता है कि ये बोन्स ये टीथ एक टाइम पीरियड के हैं भी हैं कि नहीं है राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इट लास्ट इज पोलन डेटिंग ना पोलन डेटिंग क्या होता है पोलन यू नो गेट प्रिजर्व फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वो काफ़ी देर के लिए यू नो दे कैन यू नो बी प्रेजेंट इन द एनवायरमेंट राइट सो वेन वी स्टडी पोलन वी कैन स्टडी वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट देर मस्ट हैव बीन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ठीक है वॉट काइंड ऑफ वेजिटेशन देर वॉज राइट बिकॉज अगर मेरे को कोई कैक्टस टाइप प्लांट मिलेगा तो आई विल ऑलवेज बिलीव ना कि वहाँ पे यू नो पानी की कमी होगी राइट या हार्श क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट होगा राइट सो पोलन टेल्स अ लॉट अबाउट इट्स वेजिटेशन द क्लाइमेट देर वॉज राइट एंड उसके बेसिस पे यू नो यू कैन डिटर्मिन क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैव टू से दैट ऑस्ट्रोलिपिथिक बाय द टाइम ऑफ होमोसेपियन होमोसेपियंस आइस एज एंड हो गया था अब हाउ विल आई से दिस पोलन्स के बेस पे उसका कुछ क्लाइमेट का यू नो वी विल ड्रॉ सम कंक्लूजन्स ना कि अगर इस टाइम पे ऐसी वेजिटेशन है तो मतलब क्लाइमेट ऐसा होगा तो उससे हमने कहा होगा कि आइस एज है या नहीं है राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू नो यू डिड्यूज थिंग्स आउट ऑफ मतलब आपको कुछ एविडेंस मिला देन यू यूज दैट एविडेंस टू फर्दर रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट एंड दिस इज हाउ द क्रोनोलॉजी एंड सीक्वेंसिंग ऑफ इवेंट्स हैपन ठीक है सो नाउ दिस वॉज रिलेटिव डेटिंग गाइज इफ आई एम गोइंग वेरी आई एम ट्राइंग टू गो वेरी वेरी स्लो बिकॉज आई नो दिस इज लाइक अ लिटिल टू टेक्निकल फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड बट प्लीज ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग प्लीज गो बैक टू द लेक्चर you know watch it once more i am i am sure that you will be able to understand it so now absolute dating the the second method is absolute dating in which we give absolute dates as to this happened like 3000 years back this is like absolute dating right when we tell you a specific point of time for example if i say mother goddess i found it in ivc right so this is specific time ivc kab tha so it was like 2 2500 you know bce me right so this is how absolute dating is done right so isme the first is dendro chronology now dendro chronology is that certain trees are there which add growth rings to their trunk each year like for example one year has passed so it will add a growth ring like this ek aur saal ho gaya one more एक और हो गया वन मोर सो यू कैन सी देर आर सो मेनी इन दिस दिस ट्री ट्रंक राइट सो बाई काउंटिंग दिस दीज ऑल रिंग्स यू कैन टेल हाउ ओल्ड इज दिस ट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ फिफ्टी रिंग्स आर फाउंड सो वी कैन से दिस ट्री इज लाइक फिफ्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड दिस दिस वी कैन सी इन अ ब्रिस्टल पाइन कोन ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया लाइक दिस वराइटी ऑफ ट्री डज इट इट एड्स यू नो रिंग्स ईच ईयर सो फ्रॉम counting the rings you can tell how old this tree is okay so this is found in california but it has a limitation that is only wooden objects can be dated of course because this is a phenomena which is present in trees so only that you can see and in trees also only some variety of trees does it it's not like every tree will add you know rings this is only like found in bristol cone pine for example so you cannot there is a limitation that you cannot even uh date every tree right and when you date them you cannot compare different regions for example there is a region california it is there you can date the trees but in comparison to uh california other places where the the trees do not add these kind of rings aap unko nahi calculate kar sakte ki wo kitne you know old hain right so you cannot compare and then you cannot date very old materials because of course a tree will also have its life span right beyond its life span you cannot you know like uh, check for example agar koi tree hai 500 years tak hi rehta hai 
ठीक है सो आप 600 हंड्रेड ईयर्स तक की चीज़ें डेट नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट टेल अब उसका लाइफ इतना है तो इतने में ही डेट कर सकते हो आप राइट ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इफ एनी एनी वन ईयर इट स्किप्ड इट इट डिड नॉट एड अ रिंग टू इट्स ट्री सो देन वॉट हैपन्स तो थोड़ा कैलकुलेशन एरर हो जाएगा राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लाइमेट चेंज हो गया उसकी वजह से इट डिड नॉट एड सो ऑल ऑफ दीज लिमिटेशन आर देयर सेकेंड इज आर्कियोमीट्रिक डेटिंग नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वी नो दैट इन आर दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द अर्थ इफ आई से दिस इज द क्रस्ट दिस इज मैंटल एंड दिस इज द कोर राइट इन आर कोर एंड मैंटल वी हैव लाइक आयरन आयरन प्रेजेंट राइट वी हैव आयरन सो वॉट दिस आयरन डज इज इट क्रिएट्स अ मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल राइट विच इज नॉट टू बी कन्फ्यूज विद द जोग्राफिकल नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल जोग्राफिकल नॉर्थ साउथ इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ साउथ राइट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूडे माई मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ इज दिस एग्जाम्पल आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल राइट ठीक है सो टूडे इफ आई हैव अ पॉट जस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई हैव दिस दिस पॉट एंड आई आई फायर दिस पॉट ओके सो एनी iron compounds if present in this pot will align itself to today's magnetic north that is this way okay and they will be preserved for the eternity to come right and if i for example somebody comes and dates it out uh, after 1000 years when the magnetic north has for example shifted to this place right but this in this the iron shows north pole like this only so you can tell na that 1000 years back you know the magnetic north was towards this and not this which is today right so by this you can correlate material remains and tell what period they belong to because if i have to see If I found this कि iron जो जो है इसमें जो भी you know वो magnetic north ऐसे दिखा रहा है तो I will go back and see कि magnetic north last इस direction में कब था right that is थाउजेंड years पहले था so I can conclusively say कि ये remain जो है थाउजेंड years पहले का है right so this is how you do the archaeometric dating right next is radiometric dating Now, what is radiometric dating? Every radioactive material is unstable, right? We know radioactive decay earth के अंदर भी होता रहता है, right? So when this radioactive materials they keep on, you know, losing particles, and this loss is known as the radioactive decay, right? Which happens at a constant rate. You need to understand this. any radioactive material which is unstable will lose particles and this is called the radio radioactive decay and this radioactive decay will have a constant rate depending upon the material and for every material it is going to be different right earth ke andar bhi ye radioactive decay hota rehta hai right so agar hum carbon 14 dating ki baat kare this is the first kind of dating method that we had this was found, uh, found by invented by J R Arnold and W F Libby. Now, what they did, they uh, you know, they understood that all living organisms absorb radioactive carbon. That is, when we you know take uh, we respire, we what we do, we take in carbon dioxide in and in th that way we absorb carb radioactive carbon, right? And when we die, you know. we stop taking this uh, we we stop uh, respiring right that is wo carbon dioxide ka uh, res uh, respiration wo that respiration uh, process stop ho jata hai right so the absorption bhi khatam ho jata hai that absorption also stops at the time of the death right for every organism living organism so after the death you know uh, this uh, carbon you know it decomposes now when the living organism is taking it is taking c14 but when it dies this c14 converts to c12 carbon 12 right this happens at a constant rate this 
you know after death of the organism the conversion of C14 into C12 is the radioactive decay which happens at a constant rate this constant rate is like 5568 years half life half life means uh, the time where half of the atoms will be replaced by the new atoms okay where half of the radioactive decay will be done so for carbon it is 5568 years so what happens now we can date any material that is like 50,000 years old we can date it and by far this is the most effective way of you know dating any material in absolute terms we will tell that okay this is like this much years old and error ka chance carbon 14 dating ke case mein sabse kam hai right but limitations bhi hai like 180 years tak ka plus minus ka variation ho sakta hai right then this uh, jo carbon 14 hai na ye depend karti hai on the atmosphere and which it which in turn can fluctuate so for example c14 kitna hai environment mein that can fluctuate so if that fluctuates how much is taken up by the organism also will fluctuate right so uh, because of that the dating method will fluctuate right so this is the carbon dating i hope i am making myself clear guys i know this is little technical you need to watch it one more time the second is potassium argon the same way potassium decays into argon 40 potassium 40 decays into argon 40 right now mostly rocks have potassium right so when these rocks you know under a specific heat pressure or volcanic eruption potassium 40 decays into argon 40 okay when there is ex extensive heat or pressure you know this potassium 40 will turn into argon 40 right so what happens is by this by this decay or you know change of potassium 40 into argon 40 you can date the rock ki how old is the rock so iske advantages hain that it will date the it can date the age of the earth so jo pura geological time scale hai na kahin na kahin we have calibrated it, it with the help of uh, potassium argon dating because with this you can date how old the you know layers of the rocks are right similarly any layers if we are dating and any uh, fossil remains if they are present in that uh, layer also we can date so we can date the human settlements in such areas right and it is able to date much older remains that carbon dating because we saw now in carbon dating only 50,000 years uh, around we can date but here we can date like iska half life is 1.3 year billion years so you can see how old we can and we have you know calibrated the whole geolo geological time scale with the help of potassium argon dating so you can clearly see ki hum kitna you know old things bhi isse uh, date kar sakte hain and for example a very very uh, good example of this is australopithecus skull you know uska time wo kitna purana tha was done by potassium argon dating only okay so this is important example then limitations of course in or organic cheezo ko ye date nahi kar sakta jaise ki living beings ko date nahi kar sakta theek hai right uh, because obviously we are not taking up potassium so it it we cannot date the living organisms then inaccurate obviously the more you know range it has the more chance of error it will have like itna zyada billion of years ki baat kar rahe guys to like ek aadha million idhar udhar ho jaye to you know that is a lot of error right then it cannot date more than 4 lakh years ago agar conclusively isse bhi date karna ho to hum 4 lakh years se zyada purana kuch bhi conclusively date nahi kar sakte then material and volcanic eruption around the same time now when this layer of earth must have been created that fossil must have been um, should must should deposit around the same time so that is rare, rare na agar main bolu ye crust abhi bani matlab ye wala volcanic eruption hua aur ye layer bana and around the same time that fossil must also be deposited 
तो वो पॉसिबल नहीं है ना दैट इज रेयर कि दोनों चीजें साथ साथ में हो बिकॉज इससे तो हम सिर्फ रॉक को ही कहीं ना कहीं सिर्फ रॉक की डेटिंग कर पा रहे हैं और जो भी इस रॉक में हमें मिलेगा वी विल बिलीव कि ये उसी टाइम का है बट ऐसा ज़रूरी नहीं है ना कुछ बहुत 100, 200, 500 साल बाद भी तो हो सकता है वो अब 500 साल में तो नया वॉल्केनो आने नहीं वाला तो ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी बरीड अराउंड द सेम टाइम बट वो उस टाइम पीरियड का तो नहीं होगा ना दैट फॉसिल विल नॉट बी अराउंड द सेम टाइम राइट सो दिस वॉज पोटेशियम आर्गन डेटिंग एंड लास्ट इज अमाइनो एसिड रेसमाइजेशन नाउ जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द रेसमाइजेशन इज सिमिलर टू रेडियो एक्टिव डी के फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन ह्यूमन्स वी फाइंड टू अमाइनो एसिड्स वन इज द एल एंड वन इज डी यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर इट एज लिविंग एंड डेड राइट सो इन ह्यूमन्स इन लिविंग फॉर्म्स एल इज फाउंड एंड इन डेड इट यू नो चेंजेस इन टू डी so it ha- it is somewhere dk only when organism dies l amino acid changes into d amino acid so now this is also a way that you take some fossil you know from from that fossil you take uh, you you know you can see the amino acid and how much time it has taken to you know change into the d amino acid right so many amino acids are present in human beings and uh, living organisms and every uh, amino acid has a different set of time in which it will resmize right so based on that you can just uh, know the age for example l changes into d uh, in around 15 to 20000 years right so if you found find a fossil and you see that l has changed into d in like 20000 years so you can just tell ki uska time period kya raha hoga right so again advantage is that you can uh, you know date older than carbon dating method se jitna aap date kar sakte hain usse zyada older methods isme aap isme zyada old date kar sakte hain then आपको बहुत कम फॉसिल मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड होगा यू नो विद वेरी वेरी मिनिस्क्यूल फॉसिल आल्सो यू विल बी एबल टू डेट इट सो दैट इज आल्सो वेरी वेरी एडवांटेजेस द लिमिटेशन इज दैट यू कैन नॉट डेट इन ऑर्गेनिक थिंग्स ऑब्वियसली ठीक है देन बियॉन्ड वन मिलियन ईयर यू कैन नॉट डेट सो अगेन यू नो आर हिस्ट्री यू नो वन लैक ईयर तो कुछ भी वन मिलियन ईयर तो कुछ भी नहीं है ना इट्स ओनली टेन लैक ईयर्स जो हिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ रही है दैट इज लाइक मच मच ओल्डर देन टेन लैक ईयर्स राइट सो वी विल नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग दैट हैपन बियॉन्ड टेन लैक ईयर्स विद दिस मेथड एंड देन डिफरेंसेज इन टेम्परेचर ग्राउंड वाटर कैन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द अमाइनो एसिड रेस्टमाइजेशन सो दैट इज ऑल्सो अ लिमिटेशन नाउ गाइज आई नो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी टेक्निकल टॉपिक जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस अ लिटल बिट uh any quest one question can come from this topic so tomorrow we are going to start with the evolution of uh, culture which is very interesting so please stay tuned like share and subscribe any doubts please put in the comment section below i will try to address your doubts as early as possible and uh, any suggestions please uh, put down in the comment section please like share and subscribe and thank you guys